Hey, what's going on everybody and a warm welcome back to the Whiskey Cove and on today's episode we review High West's 2022 limited release Boorai. This just has to be good. Run the video. Alright then folks, let's get into today's video, shall we? And I guess we probably need a little bit of background from myself when it comes to High West stuff just so you know exactly where I am on High West. So I was like the biggest fanboy of High West that probably was out there up until about a year ago, which coincidentally coincided with the sale of High West to Constellation Brands, the folks that owned Svetka, Vodka, Modelo and that sort of stuff. And just lately the releases just haven't been good enough. Yes, for me personally, they've struggled to kind of go into their own distillate. I feel like their own distillate has been lacking a little bit. However, the previous High West from last year wasn't great. Neither was the limited engagement, the white port release. And then the, the, the crown jewel, I guess, of the worst releases lately has been the High West um, High Country, the, the artist ball, and then the other one moving forward. Yes, that's a single malt. However, for me, it just wasn't great. But we're gonna get into the boo right today. And for me, this has to be good because it's $129 now, where I think it was last year, it was like $80 MSRP. So it's gone up a considerable amount, much like the rest of the High West bottles. So, like I said, this bottle of whiskey needs to be good. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna take a break from High West for a little a bit of a while here. So the mash bill for this 2022 Boo Rye, and this is gonna get a little bit complex, but please stay with me. It doesn't say, state the amount or the percentages that is in here from the different mash bills, but it does break down those mash bills accordingly. So let's start off here. So the first one is um, straight rye whiskey, which is gonna be 95% rye and then 5% malted barley from MGP. The next one is gonna be an 80% rye and 20% malted barley. And this is High West's own distillate. So it'll be interesting to see if that shows up here. And the next one's gonna be a straight bourbon whiskey, because of course it is a bull rye, which is gonna be 75% corn, 21% rye, and then 4% malted barley from MGP again. And then lastly, we have an interesting one here, and that's gonna be a straight bourbon whiskey again, and that is 78% corn, 10% rye, and then 12% malted barley from Heaven Hill. So it'll be really interesting to see how that combines in this bottle of whiskey. So usually when you look on ingredient lists, even though it doesn't say the percentages of each of these mash bills, you can generally make a fair assumption that the first one is gonna have the most and the last one is gonna have the least. So High West Distillate is number two on this list. I hope it's good. Let's wait, let's, I guess let's find out. So I haven't opened this yet. So this is a clean break here, clean seal. Coke pop here. Pretty decent, pretty high pitched, not very splashy. Uh, yes, it does come, the bottle does come with this really interesting uh, boo rye kind of wood label here. I'm not sure, I don't think they used to come with that at all. Yes, this was from the distillery. And actually, while we have a second, a big thank you to one of the supporters of the channel, Troy. Man, you continually impress me. You sent me those High West Midwinter Nights drums so I could review them, and you sent me this as well. I really appreciate your support to the channel, so thank you so much for that. Uh, the label here, they've changed the label for this year. They've kind of really honed in on the kind of antelope, and the antelope, the rabbit, Jack Rabbit kind of look here. And again, this is 46% alcohol or 90 proof. Again, it is a limited release. Batch number 23826. So first appearances of it in the glass. Kind of doesn't look too thin for 46% alcohol. Whiskey seems to kind of cling to the glass quite decent. Color again, you know, lighter side of amber, which is actually quite surprising. It's probably a little bit lighter than I expected, but maybe that's coming from the high corn mash bill of bourbon coming from uh, MGP, that part was. But it is, yeah, it's quite light, we would think, for a bull rhyme. It has more resemblance to a bourbon than a rhyme. So let's take a nose of this. This is 2022 bull rhyme from High West. So, so far, first impressions from the nose, it's not bad, it's not bad at all, which is a good, really good thing right now. It has a lot of sweetness straight away on the nose, which kind of translate, you do get like a really nice kind of, maybe like a cedar wood note there as well. But it's definitely very sweet on the nose, at least. And it's very bourbony, actually. I'm not really picking up too much of the rye notes, whether that will open up in the bottle as time goes on. 
you get a little bit of that corn. But most importantly, I'm not really getting any of the new High West distill funk like I have in other, of like, like I had in the high country and that sort of stuff. Again, that is a single malt, but still. Maybe a little touch of smokiness, actually. Almost like the medicinal smokiness from Scotch. I'm, I'm not sure where that's coming from. Yes, they make the campfire. It kind of has that kind of, not that type of nose, but has that similar smoke note. It's not too strong. You have to really look for it, but it's definitely there. This is very sweet, green apple as well. Very, very inviting. Okay then, let's go in for a taste here. First impressions on the palate there. It's quite viscous, it's quite oily actually. It does a really good job at coating the mouth completely. And you, you kind of chew in through it a little bit, which is a really good sign of a, you know, a good put together bourbon at least. You get that sweetness that carries through from the nose. You get some really nice bourbon vanillas in there as well, kind of like the cake frosting type of vanilla. And then you also get that spice, that rice spice does kind of, it doesn't hit the front of your palate, kind of hits the side of your tongue and kind of clenches a little bit there. And then that wood kind of seed out, it's almost transcending, transcending to a walnut note. It's kind of helping that kind of process on the tongue there and kind of clenching the sides there as well. But so far, it's looking like it could be a pretty good whiskey. So let's go in for another taste here and see if we can pick apart some of that finish there. So as I went in from the second taste there, kind of got a little bit of like, like a powdered dark chocolate note there. Almost like a little bit of earthy note, definitely too. And the finish is actually quite decently long on this. I feel like it just kind of carries on a little bit. And that kind of is helped by the consistency or kind of the oiliness of the whiskey. I feel like oily whiskies or more thicker uh, whiskies tend to have a longer, a longer finish. And you definitely get that from this as well. It's almost like that smoky note pops up in the back end, right at the back end, just as I think that the finish is gone. The smoke kind of kicks up again. For 46% ABV, you're, it's probably right in line. Maybe it drinks a little bit higher than that, probably more 48, 50. It's a very balanced boo rye as well. I think it does a really good job at balancing the sweeter notes with the wood notes. And then it kind of has this little bit of spice. Again, like on the side of the tongue, it kind of cuts through and does a really good job. All in all, I think a pretty damn good whiskey. And I was so worried to review this because if this would have gone the other way, like I said in the build up, we might have been not buying High West products for a while. And as you can see, pretty big fan of High West. So that's a good thing. Let's talk about the negatives here. You can't look away from that price. Again, we're talking like almost like a $50 jump. Some of the bull rice, this stands up to the bull rice of the past there as well. I almost think this has probably been the best release for a couple of years. So that should tell you everything you need to know about this bowl if you're someone who drinks bull rice quite a lot. So what we like to do on this channel, we like to do two ratings. We like to do a value for money from F to A, and then we also like to give it a score zero out of 100. For this value for money, like I said, it's considerably, you know, the price is considerably jumped, so I'm probably gonna give it a C minus. Again, like I said, it stands up, but maybe it's slightly better from bull rides of the past. However, $80 was still a lot of money to pay for that. And now this has gone to like 130. Even though it's 130 MSRP at High West Distillery and Saloon, that never translates nationwide. It always goes above 130. So what I'm expect expecting for you folks at home and for me to see moving forward, you'll probably see this sitting on shelves for at least 150, which is really concerning, which is why it gets the C minus. Rating out of 100, this isn't, this is an 86. I really like this bull rye. And to be honest, I don't particularly like bull rye. I like my rye and my bourbons to be separate, but this is a really great offering. You don't get any of those funky high west notes that from the new distillate. I think it's got a lot to do with the Heaven Hill distillate that they put in here. It gives us this like really nice rounded balanced bull rye. And I'm really, really happy with it. And for the rating, you can see that as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this review. Hopefully it's kind of shone a little bit of light on what to expect from this year's bull rye. I think this is a great addition. And like I've said, you know, High West has let me down a lot. And this is probably the best release that they've done for two years across the board. So if you find one for 130, I recommend that you pick it up just because of how good the whiskey is this year. However, above 150 starts to really concern me. 
because we're going into a completely different realm of whiskey, which I think that this just doesn't sit in. So that was the review today, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And as we drink through the world's whiskeys, one glass at a time, High West comes punching back. 2022 Blue Rye release. Cheers.